Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to explain a program which is written in C++. Uh, if you are uh, facing a visibility problem in this video, so you can improve the resolution of the video by going into the settings of YouTube channel so that you can easily uh, view the content of this video. So uh, now you can note down my information. These informations will be helpful for your study and placement purposes. So uh, subscribe uh, my YouTube channel uh, so that you can uh, watch uh, videos related to various programming languages. Now coming on to the program, the objective of the program is to add two 1D arrays. It means uh, we are going to add values of two 1D arrays and the result will be stored inside third 1D array. So in the first statement, I have included a header file. The namespace std is uh, used. Then name of class is array in which I have declared a, a array a of 5 which is of integer data type. Then in public section I have declared three uh, uh, functions read, print and sum. This sum function will receive an uh, argument which is of object type and it will receive an uh, object which, uh, which is of array type. Then uh, read function is defined outside the class with the help of scope resolution operator. It is uh, printing a message enter five numbers on console then uh, with the help of this loop uh, five numbers will be entered by the user and uh, those number will be stored in different locations with the help of cin. Then print function is defined. This print function will print all uh, elements which are available inside array on console. Then for addition purpose I have implemented some function. So in this function this first array is return type of the function. Second array is name of the uh, class, then scope resolution operator, then name of function is sum, then this array is, uh, uh, this array is uh, uh, declaring uh, a formal parameter whose name is x. Then temporary uh, object t is declared uh, with the help of array class. Then with the help of this loop, elements of two 1D arrays uh, have been added and the result is assigned into temporary object. So t dot a of i is representing array of temporary object. This a of i is representing array of implicit argument which is a1 in this program which is available in the function call written in main function. Then x dot a of i is representing value of explicit argument which is a2 in this program. So the values of a2 will be passed into x so that uh, x can access the values of a2. So uh, both the arrays uh, have been added and result uh, will be stored inside t. After completion of this loop, return t statement will uh, return the values uh, uh, to the main function which is received with the help of a3 object inside main function. So this function call is responsible for execution of some function. So before that I have declared three objects a1, a2, a3. a1 and a2 are reading uh, values from console with the help of read function. Then in some function calling a1 is implicit argument and a2 is explicit argument and the result will be received by a3 object. Then with the help of a3 dot print all the uh, added values will be displayed on console. So after this explanation I am first compiling the code. So you can see that number of errors and warnings are zero. Now I am executing this code. So I have entered five times once and again I am entering five times one. So you can see the output uh, five times two uh, has been printed on console. So with the help of this execution you can uh, see that the program is working properly. All three functions read, print and sum are working properly. So with the help of this example uh, you will be able to understand how we can pass arguments as object in the function and how can we uh, return uh, the objects from the function. So implement this program in your laptop or desktop so that you will be able to understand the concept behind it. So again you can note down my information uh, which will be helpful for your study and placement purposes and uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe my video, uh, YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.